You ever have somebody in your life that just bugs the mess out of you? I had a next door neighbor. This woman, every time I turned around, she would talk about, Oh, Pat, you need to give that voice in your heart to the Lord. Oh, that woman got on my nerves when she said that over and over and over again. I had no idea what she was talking about. All I knew was, as far as I was concerned, she was just another religious fanatic. You know, right now, to this day, that woman is a very close friend of mine. All that time, I used to laugh behind the back, because I laughed at all church folks. I thought they were, you know, like, whatever. I really don't want to hear it. Thank you. And, you know, the kids say, talk to the hand. <laughs> anyway, I found out that not only did she know what she was talking about, but all my little uppity attitudes were as wrong as two left shoes. I was wrong, wrong, wrong. I was out there in those streets trying to get a boyfriend here and finding love and all the wrong places. And I was stuck on stupid and I didn't even know it. As far as I was concerned, it couldn't get much better than that. So I might as well crawl on the ground with the little crabs, you know. It was horrible. It was a horrible lifestyle. I was empty. I was miserable inside, full of turmoil, no matter what I was doing. And I was too hard-headed to listen. But I was so emotionally torn up and scarred. I really needed help. I needed supernatural intervention. And I got it. I mean, by the time I was 26, I was up to there with the way my life had been. And I finally started kind of peeping at him and checking God out and saying, yeah, 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 let's see what this is all about. Well, as time went on, I finally told God the truth. I said, now, these people are always telling me if I want to give my heart to you, that I have to be convinced that Jesus was the Son of God and he died on the cross and rose from the dead and blah, 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 blah. I wasn't sure there was even a God. And guess what? That's exactly how I came to him. I said, I don't even know if you're real. I don't know if you're real. I don't know if Jesus is real. I don't know if all this other stuff of the Bible and all that heaven and hell and blah, blah. I don't know if all that stuff is real. But I know one thing that is real. I'm a mess. And I need help. And I'm tired. I'm tired of being empty. I'm tired of wishing I weren't even alive. So as time went on, I finally said that prayer, just like that. And believe it or not, God heard that prayer. He met me right where I was. I didn't have to jump through the religious fiery hoops. I just have I just had to come as I was. That's that song that says, just as I am without one plea, to come just like you are. As, as some of the kids, some of the guys used to say, toe up from the flow up. <laughs> and that was me. Just come as you are. Don't, you know, don't worry about be, dressing the part, looking the part, talking the part. Don't even deal with that. The first thing God wants to deal with is your innermost needs. Those areas, your scars and your hurts and the holes in your soul that need filling. He will fill all that up with his healing and his love, his peace, his joy, and his life. He will fill all that up. No man, no woman, no high, no good sex, nothing can fill that up. Not even a good TV program. Now, how do you like that? Only God can fill those areas up. Only God. You, you have to give him a chance. You try everything else. You don't have to go up to a church altar to pray the prayer. You can sit on the toilet. You can be in your car. You can stand outside your house getting ready to go to work. Just take a second to say that prayer. And the prayer, I'll, I'll make it quick and simple for you. 
Lord, I don't get it. But I need something. So can I give you a try? You know, let me ask that you come into my heart. And I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior, even though I'm not convinced. It, you know, just please take me on those terms. Because I'm a mess. I need help. I need healing. I need filling. I need love. I need life. I need something. I'm, I'm so screwed up, I don't know which end is up. Please help me. That's all you got to say. He will take it from there. You put one foot in front of the other, and every time you get a little still moment, just remember to say, Lord, I'm, 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 I'm wanna, I want your love. Whatever it is you want from him, you just start throwing it out there. You don't have to do long religious sounding prayers. Just talk to him. Lord, I want my wife back. Lord, you, you know, show me how to get it together. Why do I get so angry? Take this anger out. I, I don't like this. I don't like how I sabotage everything I have. My my relationships, my job, my money, my everything, my future, my destiny. I just seem to be screwing everything up. Show me how I can get it together. Put somebody in my life that will help me. And then accept the help when he does. And you'll see big differences in your life. And then ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit. That's when your nature changes and you start to love things that you hated before and you do things that you refused to do before and you will surprise yourself. God bless you on your quest.